Hey girls, welcome to the March m and m for the Huddle for Women. Today we're going to talk about what it means to have unchanging hope. You see, it's easy to have hope when everything is going your way, but what happens when it's not? You have an injury that cuts short your season, or your parents come to you with a bombshell that they're getting a divorce, or as a coach, you're still trying to find your first win and it's just not coming. Unchanging hope is never based on ever-changing circumstances or an ever-changing world, but it is always focused on an unchanging God. If there's anybody who understood this, it was the Apostle Paul. We're going to take a look at a story in Acts chapter 28. And just to give you a little context, Paul had been arrested for preaching the good news of Jesus. He was going to go on trial in Rome. They put him on a, on a ship and the ship ended up wrecking. The ship wrecked and land on the island of Malta, and it was cold and rainy, and Paul was going to get some fire to build a fire, and a snake bit him on the hand. And here's what the people said. When the people saw the snake hanging from his hand, they said to one another, this man no doubt is a murderer, even though he escaped the sea, justice has not allowed him to live, but he shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no harm. They expected that he would begin to swell up or suddenly drop dead. After they waited a long time and saw nothing unusual happen to him, they changed their minds and said, he must be a god. See, the people assumed that he was a convicted murderer, and then they assumed that he was a god. Neither was true. See, Paul's hope and faith wasn't based on the changing opinions of the world of others, but on God. Yes, he could have believed one of the things they said, and he would have been destroyed by doubt. He could have believed the other thing that they said, and he would have been destroyed by pride. But instead, Paul knew exactly who he was. He knew exactly who created him in God, and he knew exactly the purpose that God created him for. The changing thoughts of others didn't change his plan so much so that three months later, after getting off of that island, he went to Rome and he was on house arrest and he continued to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, to have unchanging hope, we have to put our faith in an unchanging God. So how do we do this? Three questions that I want us to ask ourselves. Number one, where is your focus? Where's your focus? Is it on the storm of the circumstances around you or the God who is in control of all circumstances who's right in front of you? Is your focus on self or is it focused on God? Are you focused on your bad circumstances or the good God we serve? Is your focus on fear? Is your focus on faith? Ask yourself, where is my focus? Second question, where is my feet? Where's my feet? And what I mean by this is where am I going and what am I doing with my time? Am I in church or am I sleeping extra and staying in my bed? Am I at the FCA huddle or am I at the party? Am I participating in the team Bible study or am I participating in the, the locker room gossip group? Where are my feet? And the third thing is what am I being fed? What am I being fed? Is the music that I listen to, is it feeding my fears or my faith? The social media that consistently scroll through and compare myself to others, am I, is that feeding my faith or is that feeding my insecurities? Am I in God's word? Is that feeding my faith? Do I care more about what others think or what God says? I love spending, spending my time with the OU softball team. And last week, they lost to Baylor as the number one team and lost the number one spot. And people said on social media, they said, well, there goes the softball season. Another person said, what is wrong with us? And another person said, well, I guess there you can kiss the three-peat goodbye. And then this week, they beat the number one team, UCLA, 14-0. to And people actually said, again, could this be the greatest team of all time? Somebody else said, I never doubt it. The thing about these girls is they weren't failures because they lost and they weren't some kind of softball gods because they won. These girls know that they are not failures when they lose because failure is never a person, only an event. Their identity wasn't in what people say, but in an unchanging God. See, unchanging hope starts with having a unchanging faith in a greater God.